Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for June 2021. No, this is not a love message. But if love does come up, we will definitely take a peek into it. All right, angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy for lovely, lovely Libra. What is going, oops, what is going on with Libra for the month of June? Yes, 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 angels, we're looking for high vibrations. Yes, we are for Libra. Yes, yes, yes. And we're adding one from the Dragon's deck. Angels and guides, high vibrations, looking for joy, looking for joy for lovely, lovely Libra. Let's go ahead and add a bit from the Hummingbird deck. Angels, now typically, 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 <laughs> um, yeah, we top it off with the Hummingbird deck, but we're going to add, we're going to add the Buddha bonus to each one of your, thank you, thank you, thank you, sections. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into your message for the month of June. There we go. All right, angels, we're looking for some positive energy. Yes, 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 for Libra. So the major theme for the month is the eight of pentacles with the 10 of diamonds, prosperity, woo, 10 of hearts and transformation. There's a change coming. All right, so Libra, I feel like there was an element with this eight of of pentacles where you felt like you know you put in a lot of work you were almost done you were almost at the finish line and that finish line financially speaking there's abundance there wow there is tons of abundance prosperity all around you with the ten of hearts there's so many people around you that want to support you and lift you up this is transforming this is transforming your life it's a transformation. Are you ready for the transformation? It has to do with your resources. It has to do with the people around you. If you are looking for a way to increase your abundance, it is there. Yes, you thought you were done. Yes, you thought you were finished working. Yes, you thought you were finished a project. Whatever it was, it's time it's time to accept more abundance in your world. I feel like I feel like people want to give you, lots of people want to give you, give to you. And this, this is transformation here. This is really transformation here. So be grateful for this, this positive, uh, rom not romance, this pro positive, um, while well, you're romancing with the abundance, okay? Because you're liking it. You're really, really liking it. All right, now. It's awesome. That's all I'm saying. It's awesome. Now, let's take a peek at your recent past. You had the Six of Wands with the Joker mm -hmm, and Opinions, Three of Spades, and Insight. So in the recent past, you were, I feel like there was celebration around you. People were like, hey, Libra's here, right? Libra, Libra's here. With the Joker, you did not really expect that. People had opinions about that energy, right? People had that opinions about your energy. With the Three of Spades, there was a little bit of crazy going on there. And I felt like you took some time back to insight. You had to, you had to check out this, why were people celebrating you? You weren't so certain. There was a little bit of I'm not getting that. Uh, you're like, I don't know why, but okay. I'm like, okay, right? <laughs> Maybe it didn't last for so long or whatever it was. You had to you had to dig deep and find out why were people so nice to you. <laughs> now, when we look, let's let's move on from that. In the middle of the month, we have the star card with the nine of diamonds, organize, seven of hearts. And honesty. So in the middle of the month, I feel like things are going your way. I feel like with the nine of diamonds, you are ready to give. You are ready to, like whatever you want to give or whatever you want to let go of. I see some of you 
letting go of a lot. Maybe cleaning out closets or maybe uh, you're just letting go. You're letting go. You're, you're organizing. It's making you feel lighter, if that makes sense. With the seven of hearts, you are not attached to anything. You're, you're just not. And that's the honest truth. You're just not attached to anything. So if you have a lot of things in your home, I feel like you're that you were attached to. I feel like you're kind of letting it go. You know, I'm done with that. I'm done with this. Uh, and it's making you feel like, wow. Some of you might even be attached to a home and you're like, not anymore. Like, yeah, I used to like it here. Or I, I used to like this job. Or I used to like this, this um relationship however this shows up your boss or, or whoever this is I used to like them but I, I see you kind of detaching and the honest truth is you're like I probably don't even need it anymore I probably don't even need it anymore with the star card you're happy about detaching now when we look at the end of the month, we have the Ace of Swords with the Nine of Spades and the Childlike, the Ten of Clubs, and Grace. So by the end of the month, I see a new beginning coming, a brand new fertile new beginning, but you're letting something go to receive this. I feel like with the Childlike, there's a part of you that kind of wants to hold on a little bit. Like, I want it, I want to keep it, I want to keep it, but you know, you got to let it go for something new to come in with the ten of clubs whatever is coming in it is going to be very successful for you and whatever you're letting go of give it grace let it go gracefully so if it's a job a relationship a friendship whatever it is let it go with grace because you don't want to incur any negative karma <laughs> all right all right now let's move on shall we to your bonus we have the three the three of wands with the emperor reversed the six of spades boundaries ace of clubs and space whoa i i feel there's this energy of i feel there's this energy of newness around you i feel like your abundance your happiness your joy comes from release there's something new that's wanting to come in here. All right, now let's take a, a peek at your bonus. With the three of wands, I see you looking towards the future. What's going to happen in the future? Where am I going to go? What's going to support me? With the emperor card reverse, there's really nothing that you can do. There's really nothing that you can, you know, set up. It's just going to kind of be fate. It's going to kind of land in your lap. So there are boundaries that need to be set and the boundaries are with you as far as thinking that you can um, do this on your own, but you can't. This is, you need space. You, I feel like you need space from your own thoughts because I feel like you've been directing things with your thoughts. You've been manifesting over time. You've been pushing certain things that maybe you shouldn't push. You've been directing your own destiny, if you will. But now it's time to let go of what does not serve you, what does not honor you, and let the universe kind of guide you where you need to go, if that makes sense. Because there I'm picking up major new energy coming in, major new, and this energy, in order for you to grab hold of this energy and, and go with it, like on the end of a kite, on the tail of a kite, you're going to have to let some things go. I see you cleaning house. I see you getting rid of old files. I see you um you, you know I see you just getting rid of stuff I I hear I hear some of you may be going through a minimalistic you're becoming a minimalistic person like I don't need this I've been holding on to this for a hundred years okay before you get rid of it make sure it's not worth something okay okay but I I heard, I hear you said I don't need this. this is just collecting dust collecting dust I don't need this it might be an old job that you've been doing it for years it feels like it's time to let it go so that something new can come in with as far as 
It's almost don't hold on. Don't hold on. You're finished. I hear the word finished, 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 finished. Your joy is coming. Um, but get organized. Get organized. That doesn't mean don't get organized, okay? Get organized and just allow the universe to do the universe's thing. Don't try to manipulate it. Don't try to push it in a direction that you want it to go into. It's, it's not that time. It's not that season. Sometimes, yes, we have to get in there and do the work. Sometimes we have to manifest. This is not that time. This is the time. It's the ending of a cycle and a new cycle is wanting to begin. So be mindful of that. So if the universe says, let this go, let it go with grace, with grace. Okay, so if it's a job, if it's a house, if it's a home, if it's a relationship, if it's a thing, right, let it go with grace. So, because there's something wonderful coming. So wouldn't you want to make space for it? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to make space for it? So I'm going to leave it there. I send you joy. Namaste. And much, much love sent your way.